Today, across the globe, the issue of rape is on the rise across the globe, the issue of rape. And wallahi, when you look at how the thing starts from, sometimes it starts right from the young age. Both from the side of the male and the side of the female. And I want to tell you something, beloved parents, beloved brothers and sisters, the issue of rape in Islam, sometimes the, when people sit and they think about it, always they want to blame the female to say it is her fault why hasn't why has she dressed inappropriately why has she dressed in a way that is not modest why has she dressed in a way that islam doesn't promote well you need to ask the brothers as well you need to ask the rapists as well why wouldn't they lower their gaze when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about lowering the gaze and the Quran, he starts with the males. Tell the believing men to lower their gazes and guard their private parts. To lower their gazes and safeguard their private parts. To lower their gazes and protect their private parts. I promise you if the rapists right from the beginning had lowered his gaze, he wouldn't even notice the dressing of the female. He wouldn't even notice how the female dressed. Allahu Akbar. Yet sometimes everything, people want to push it to the female and say it is her fault. Wallahi, the male also has his own problem. Problems, Wallahi. It is totally out of, you can't even think about it. This is, there is no logic in this to say, you know what, it is the fault of the female. If you are a Muslim and she is a Muslim, you as a Muslim, you have to know that it is a duty upon you to safeguard and protect yourself, to lower your gaze, to abstain from anything that will draw your attention when you know that the devil is there and when you know that the devil can make you do anything that is besides that which would please Allah and at the end you come and you are regretting when right from the beginning you didn't try to protect and safeguard yourself and now you want to blame the female after you have ruined her life. Allahu Akbar. Wallahi, things need to change. This mentality needs to change. And sometimes, if you look at how everything starts, right from the young age, like I said, the male, it, it starts from their home, from their families, from the mentality they have, right from the young age. From the mentality they have, right from the young age. If you look at young stars, for example, even in secondary school, I promise you, majority of the males in the secondary school in the secondary schools across the globe, it is a very huge problem that every time you see the males in the secondary schools, junior and senior secondary school, you know, the one of the biggest problems is that when they it comes to the females, they always have this dirty mindset, this dirty mentality. That, wallahi, we need to say this, there is nothing to hide here, everyone knows, it's high time we've said this. You ask the young stars, you don't need to even ask them. When you sit in their circles, you would know, you would come to hear that always what they want to talk about is the front side and the back side of the female. They want to talk about the breast, the front side and the back side of the female. They want to talk about the shape and how big the breast is, subhanallah, and how the shape is and wallahi it's so painful it brings tears to the eyes that even the young kids in primary school also have this mentality and they think it is something good wallahi this needs to change this needs to change and that's why the parents have to take control scan your home wallahi you need to scan your home scan your home thoroughly anything that would attract or would help the devil in succeeding in his plans, you've got to get rid of it. If the TV is there and you know that the TV is one thing that would help the devil in succeeding, get rid of the TV. If you know the phones would help the devil in succeeding in his plans, get rid of the phones. If you know the PlayStation, the games your kids play would help the devil in succeeding in his plans, get rid of the PlayStation. Get rid of the games. It would bring much more good than when you leave those things and after 10 years or 15 years or 20 years, you want to regret when it is too late. 
you want to regret when it is too late and you had the opportunity to set things right yet you didn't even think about it and now you want to cry when it is too late may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala safeguard us and open our doors so Allahi really it is something that needs to be spoken about on a daily basis constantly today the issue of rape is on rise across the globe it is on the rise across the globe the issue of rape the issue of rape the male and the female you know the males like i i said always wanting to put the entire fault on the females this mentality needs to change because there is no logic in this there is no logic in this if the male is a muslim and the female is a muslim both of them need to know what allah has told them in the quran and if they were to follow these things then I promise you things would become much more better. I promise you things would become much more better. Sometimes the males, it is because of the dirty mindset they have and because of the, you know, pornographic sides they visit and, you know, their urge is on the rise and they don't know how to, subhanallah, and they think the only way to get rid of their urge is to, on the female. An innocent girl, they want to ruin her life. They want to ruin her life and after they've done everything, they still want to blame her. Whenever we talk about the issue of dressing, every time people address it to the females. And wallahi, sometimes if you ask the females what really happened, they would tell you the males also dress in a very inappropriate way. And wallahi, we all know, we all agree, sometimes the males dress in a very inappropriate way the the back side of the guy is showing or the guy is dressing and you know subhanallah we all know how the male is dressed today there's nothing to hide here isn't that also does that have any modesty in it as a male as a muslim and yet we always want to blame the females because we think you know everything that has to do with the inappropriate dressing it is just about the females when the males also dress in a very wrong way that is against the teachings of islam may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us